Well, they say the third time is a charm, and <laughs> with me is the charming mayor of Milburn for her third term, Mayor Sandra Hamoff. Mayor, welcome. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, it's, and that introduction was wonderful. Well, it, it's, uh, it's great to have you here. You are Ms. Milburn is the best way to put it. Uh, I, when I look down your resume, uh, it's just amazing from your service uh, on the planning board, from putting together progressive dinners for scholarships. What haven't you done in that great town? I'm sure there's a lot of things I haven't done, but I've lived in the town since I was 17, and I think that kind of says it all. I'm not going to go any further than saying that. And 10, I, 20 years ago. Uh, you know. You're nice. <laughs> and it started out basically as, you know, volunteerism, and then when you realize that in order to make a difference, you need to be in a position where your vote counts, that's when I started you know, running for Board of Education, running for the Township Committee. And I have to say, I like people, and I like the residents in Milburn, and I like the interaction. I like working with them. I like doing things. I like solving problems, and it all works. I think Milburn is a, a phenomenal community. It's a perfect place to raise a family. We raised our family three there. Three beautiful daughters. Three beautiful and, daughters. And now eight grandchildren. Eight grandchildren. Four girls and four boys. Well, that you finally got the boy in the yeah, family. Yeah, finally there. got it right. And uh, the grandson was the first grandchild, so you can imagine oh, what it was like when Oh, I bet he is happened. the prince for certain. Absolutely. <laughs> now, you mentioned the Board of Education as mm -hmm. to that component of your you know, professional career, if you will, of, of not career, of your your love of, uh, of the community and service. Uh, Milburn schools are just off the charts. They're just amazing. They know. are and they have always been and it's been a result of many, many good administrations and many, many good boards of education going way back. And good residents who are interested in education, interested in what's happening in the schools, interested in their children, which is probably the key in anything, what happens in the home, what happens in the family, that equates into what is happening in the public sector. And I served on the Board of Ed for 12 years. I was president of it for eight. And they were wonderful, wonderful years. And after that, I decided, you know, I wanted to branch out into the wider community. Well, you know, they're great schools to the extent that beyond the academic excellence, which should be always first to everything, they have incredible sports programs, mm -hmm. but you know, within reason, you know, right. and, and right. great uh, music and great theater, right. which kind of segues me to my favorite theater, the Paper Mill Playhouse, which uh, is a, a jewel within your great community. The Paper Mill Playhouse is wonderful, and uh, the township, I believe, did the right thing several years ago when they were having difficulty in, in purchasing it, and they now lease it back from the township. We also have a uh, vibrant downtown, which we want to keep even more vibrant. You and know, Mayor, not for anything, you get the Short Hills Mall, you know, a mile or two away. Right. So it's tough enough to, you know, compete in any downtowns nowadays, but you have the premier mall uh, in the, the state, if not the region. Mm. How do you do it? What kind of things happen? Because it is a vibrant downtown. Well, we have the mall, and as you said, uh, due to various contracts and so forth, many of the anchor stores or the bigger name stores in the mall cannot come to Milburn. So we, we realize that. We have somehow become a destination for uh, people who want to dine out. We have wonderful, wonderful restaurants. Don't tell my secrets. Ah, <laughs> I can see you there one night then. Yes. Huh? And we also have unique stores. And I think this is the whole secret or the whole key. If you can bring in a store that has things that people want and you can't find any place else, uh, they will come. And once they come, they'll spot another store and uh, gravitate to that. We also have a river walk, and maybe you can help us here. I'm in. Okay, <laughs> well, I'm going to count on it. Um, the DMDA, the Downtown Milburn Development Alliance, received a grant years ago at this point of over $500,000 to build a river walk, which would connect the Paper Mill Playhouse to the downtown to make it pedestrian friendly. A little bit of Walking, San Antonio uh, in uh, Essex yeah, County. Right, except it's now going to be a, a very nice sidewalk walk. Mm -hmm. But at any rate, um, we are waiting for the final approval from the DEP, which they approved it initially, and it's just a sign off. So any help we can get would Mayor, be greatly you have me. appreciated. You, you know I chair the committee on 
in the environment, so uh, I can uh, speak yes, to the commissioner and we'll, we'll, we'll get it done. Terrific, and I know you do great things with the environment, and that is my uh, pet, if you will, project. We won the Governor's Award for Environmental Excellence last year. Uh, we had a Green Challenge Day at the Arboretum, which is the program that won that award. We have sustained... Uh, Talk a little bit about that, the Arboretum program. Okay. It's certainly worth uh, it, it sure shouting is. About. I can even do better than that if you have your League of Municipalities magazine. I believe it was the March edition. It's all written up in there. Beautiful article. And pictures, yes. We did that in collaboration. It was the Township, the Environmental Commission, and the Arboretum. And it was a full day of, and we had over 400 people, and they signed up for something like over 1,700 challenges. Wow. And it was a loop that went through the Arboretum, and there were different stations where people would show um, different environmental concerns that would be helpful, and they had to sign up for a challenge, whether it was as simple as changing their light bulbs to the uh, lead light bulbs. And we had um, films in the stone house on the environment, and we had an area for the children to participate in projects. It was wonderful. You know, it's interesting, Mayor, there's a, an adage that goes back a lot of years now, you know, think globally, but act locally. So, that's you know, exactly these right. little things of individuals, what difference can I make? And that's what it's all about. You are absolutely correct. And it's, I believe it's all about education because I was amazed when I first started to delve into this area that people didn't realize and once they became aware of it, we had a very successful no idling program. They were not aware sure. that if you just sat with your car on, they thought you were just saving gas. They didn't realize any of the other consequences. I see the sign jab at Milburn High School, no idling. And we're going to get it. you if you idle. It. Hey, uh, speaking now of the term coming up, what, what, what are your, what's your major goal? Besides getting that river walk open, which we're going to get done. You're going to get it. Thank you. Okay. You're going to get it. I'm going to help a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Um, in anticipation, because budget, we, we can't not, not talk about the budget, Milburn has done very well so far because we have years and years of a pay-as-you-go policy. So our budget for the coming year is going to see a one, uh, is well under the 2% cap, a, a one cent increase. But what I have done going forward is appointed four ad hoc committees. Uh, one police, one fire, one Department of Public Works, and one municipal courts. And we are out there actively looking for ways to uh, enhance our services and save money at the same time. We are looking to consolidate, to share services. We already have shared a lot of services, but now we are looking at the municipal court to see if we can share this. We're looking with Livingston. Uh, we are looking uh, with possibly a pilot program, which we have approached the state on, of sharing a police chief with Livingston. Ours is due to retire in sure. um, August. These are all things that are what being a, looked at. What exciting at. time. You know, it is very part exciting. Of so even though obviously budgets are a challenge, you look at challenges as opportunities. That's and that's certainly To find efficiencies, and we've been very fortunate. We have no plans to have to cut back on our own uh, personnel. There are other ways of doing it. So far, we have not had to have any layoffs. We have not had to have any extended vacations or any of the other things that some of the communities have had to use. So we have been fortunate in that way. Well, Mayor, uh, between your volunteerism, between your environmental friendliness, uh, the schools and what the municipal government means to those, the downtown, it's a wonder why everybody loves you, and I'm a fan too. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure. And thank you for being here. Now, coming up, uh, when Ireland meets New Jersey, we'll tell you the best place to drink a pint of Guinness in the area. We'll be right back.